Good morning, wieners, and welcome to Camp Claw. It has been too long since I've been up here in the great state of beautiful freaking Maine. This is our summer sun. We are up here for quite some time. I think we're probably gonna be kicking it up in Maine for, I don't know, a few weeks, just fishing, filming, and getting after it. I'm so pumped to be up here filming some epic content for y'all. We've got the crew up here. We've got Lucky, who is, I think, maybe chasing some, uh, I don't know, black bears, moose. I don't know, she's in the woods doing her thing. We've also got Millie, AKA Pee Pee Head, who's gonna be making a cameo throughout this trip. And of course, there's Caleb, who's filming this whole session and editing all these videos for y'all at home. Now, while I'm excited to be up here uh, to film some videos for you guys, I do have some bad news. And that bad news is the cabin. I don't know what is going on, but half of my cabin is absolutely riddled with mold. So for those of you who don't know, half of this cabin is pretty old. And with it being pretty old, comes some damage and some issues. I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys to the fullest as to what's going on with this part of the cabin, but it's pretty bad. When I purchased this place, there was a bit of warping over on this wall. And if you notice, there's a very important, <laughs> important part uh, on this wall and that is you know the circuit breaker so that was actually receiving a ton of moisture uh, it had gotten fixed by the previous owner uh, by their cost and after that happened i'm like okay that's just a fluke there might be a bit of leak a little bit of moisture you know it's a cabin you're in the woods you know problems are always bound to arise so that happened wasn't a big deal but what i really didn't take into consideration is that might be a start to a very nasty trend and sure enough most of the walls in this part of the cabin are starting to warp there's some moisture behind the walls. This is like very cheaply made, which doesn't bother me. This is one of the reasons why I bought this cabin is to beat up, to have fun in. It is a fishing cabin, it's a filming cabin. We come here, we kick it, we have a good time, you know? So I'm not like looking for something bougie, but I also don't need mold in my walls. And there's been a significant amount of white mold in my bathroom, in my bedroom, and uh, it just does not look good. So we have decided that we won't be staying at the actual camp at Camp Claw which doesn't even seem right. I know, it's it's pretty messed up, but there's not much we can do, you know, uh, with Caleb being down here, the dogs being down here, and you know, originally the plan was we were gonna bring Milo and Kaylee down here, but I just was like, this is not a safe place. There's mold, it's not a good environment for, a, you know, a little baby, especially a three month old, a four month old. She'll eventually be four months old when, uh, by the time we, you know, we get done with this trip. Um, and I'm just like, dude, I don't, I can't do that. You know, I can't put anyone through that, that situation. I won't even stay here. I won't stay in my room because of how bad it is. So we had to figure out a better alternative. And the alternative I came up with, rather than not coming up to Camp Claw this year, is to figure out a way to stay in the new barn. So the barn is finished, by the way. I don't know if you guys know this, barn is finished. It has taken a very freaking long time, but it's 100% done. It was built, I think, about a year ago, and it was actually finished. That is, you know, insulation, shiplap, walls. Uh, the loft has been fully completed. We've got a bathroom up there. We've got a sink, we've got a wash and dryer, which is not present in the actual camp claw. The barn's looking pretty dialed. So we're gonna be staying there for, I guess, our whole experience up here in Camp Claw, which is kind of sad, but I don't know. We'll have to figure out a solution for this. And as much as I wanna just figure out a quick solution, that being get rid of the mold, I would much rather tear that old part down, which I've been wanting to do for many years now, and uh, build something that is unique to me. I wanna keep the new part of the cabin. The new part of the cabin is absolutely beautiful. There's nothing wrong with it. It is perfect, but that 1999 portion of the cabin, which you all saw there with that old wall, Wall that's warping I think that needs to go so I'm gonna meet up with a general contractor like I said probably today or tomorrow and uh, we're gonna figure out some things we're gonna you know do to this place to make it fully freaking dialed I don't want to take too much of the classic camp call look away but we are uh, we're gonna probably make it a little bit bigger a little more comfortable because I do have a daughter now and I want her to come up here and enjoy Maine because Maine is so freaking beautiful. But anyway, if you guys have any ideas as to what we should do with the new addition of the cabin, drop a comment below. I know you guys have some really awesome ideas and I am all ears. But anyway, let's go check out the barn. And that is actually where we'll be staying over the course of a couple freaking weeks. Up. What's that? Is he still asleep? Yeah. Hey, say hello, Caleb. It's your okay, first guys. first summer in Maine. Yeah. What do you summer. think? It's, uh, it's beautiful here. Actually, the so. first time Caleb came and filmed, we filmed, uh, we filmed up here for the first time in fall and it was a good good experience yeah, we got like two videos. <laughs> i think we got we we were up here for like almost two weeks we got two videos no we we're here for a month we're really yeah. yikes okay is he yeah, 
I don't know if I told you guys this, but we hired a new summer intern to help out with projects. My goal is to film every single day while we're up here. I don't know how the upload schedule is going to be, but like we need some help. You know, it can't just be Caleb and I. So I did hire a summer intern. Um, he's actually staying in the mother-in-law suite right now. Let's see if we can. Is he still asleep for real? Yo, Griffin. Go dog, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, bud. Let's get after it. How'd you sleep last night? Perfect. Your alarm, you wanna shut it off or? Yeah, I got it. Okay, there you go. Do you wanna introduce yourself or? Uh, I'm Griffin, summer intern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, so this is where uh, Griffin's sleeping. He's actually uh, kicking it in the Marlin last week, you know? You know, when I built this barn, I wanted to make sure that everyone was comfortable wherever they were at. And, uh, you know, I didn't anticipate hiring Griffin this summer to help us out with videos, but I figured this would be an awesome addition for, you know, guests to come through and just kind of kick it and show. But this is what, what uh, us Texas folk would call a mother-in-law suite. Anyway, Griffin's not my mother-in-law, but he's sleeping in there. So what's your story, Griffin? How did I reach out to you? What's going on? You're gonna be the summer intern for this. You're gonna be doing a little bit of filming. Um, you're gonna be driving around some vehicles, cleaning stuff up, just helping out with dogs, myself, you know, all that kind of stuff. Right. So, uh, what was it, two summers ago now? Uh, yeah. Me and John linked up and we did some tuna fishing and uh, some other miscellaneous like pond stuff. And uh, yeah, it was pretty much after that. We got along well, so he hit me up and he was like, hey, summer intern job, yes. on board. Somehow I was like, I guess you're all right. <laughs> and you're up here now. Griffin's actually from Maine. Uh, he's probably two hours south of where, where Camp Claw's at. He's gonna be helping Caleb and I and Millie and Lucky or we're up here cranking out some videos. Like I said, I wanna to try to film a video every single day, whether it be a dusty video, a crusty video, I don't care. Fishing, cam claw antics, I don't really know what we're going to capture this experience, but it's gonna be good. And we've got some people coming up here too to Camp Claw. Of course, it's not a Camp Claw send if you don't invite some folks to come through and absolutely kick it. But yeah, also too, by the way, this is the freaking barn. We'll do an official rundown of what has happened here over the past couple of months in another video. Today is a day for us to get acquainted with, with Camp Claw and fix some stuff. We need to get beds, we need to get a beer fridge. Also too, we need to get a fridge for food. Yeah, for it, first and foremost, we can get a fridge for food. We gotta get a white cloth fridge. We need to get a lot, a lot of uh, shopping done, which might seem boring, but it's actually kind of fun because we get the, oh, we need a hoop. In here. We need a hoop. That would be kind of sick. Wieners, welcome back to Camp Claw. This is quite the long intro, but I figured I'd get you guys acquainted because there's been so much that I've needed to catch you guys up on. Griffin, sick. welcome. What's up, bro? Caleb, let's do this. Camp Claw, summer 2022, starts now. Well, that was quite boring. Errands are finished. We're back at Camp Claw. Unfortunately, that sucked up the entire day. And I unfortunately won't be able to fish, but the boys uh, have taken upon themselves to go scout some creeks and try to catch some, I don't know, something that swims. We've got one twin size bed. Uh, and the reason why there's only one is because apparently two of them flew out on the car ride back here. Caleb and Griffin actually were gonna go on a fishing mission, but they were also headed out to see if they could find wherever the hell the mattress went. Everything made it except the mattresses. Anyway, let's check in with the boys, see how they're doing. Hopefully they're catching some fish. Did you guys go mudding or something? Yeah. What uh, happened? Yeah. So how was it? How was fishing? Uh, it was pretty good. We caught a couple lampreys on the fly. Um, really? Yeah. We caught, caught one that was like four and a half feet. Yeah. Jump. Yep. Like a tarpon. You four stick it, yeah, the, right up in the air. No way. Yep. You tail walked a lamprey. Mm -hmm. Not a frog. Swear to God. Wait, he said a fly. It was a frog fly. Frog fly. <laughs> <laughs> how many did y'all catch? Uh, Three. Bass? 37. Yeah. 37 minus what? The four lamprey. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you guys catch any small one? Uh, caught one. I caught, yeah, I caught one. Caleb, you still have not caught one, have you? I haven't caught one. Dookie off. Wow. You're what up happened? You went fishing up in Maine, didn't catch a small one. Imagine. What do you think? Is he He's canned? He's throwing a Ned rig. Is he canned? Oh, the boys are back. Yeah, no mattresses either. So this was just a worthless trip, right? No, you, we almost picked we up a hitchhiker too. too. You guys picked up a homeless guy? Yeah. Oh, you brought food. Thanks, man. Thanks, bud. Well, it's the lampreys we bagged them. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we've got food. 
I'm gonna have these boys help me load the sofas in. We don't have beds. We have one. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. Tomorrow we'll go smash the small mouth. Tomorrow we'll get beds. It's gonna be fine. It's all good. Everything is okay. Perry used to say, everything's gonna be okay. And uh, sometimes it is, but sometimes it's not. Well, wieners, winding down here at Camp Claw. It's 11 p.m. We gotta get active tomorrow. I was hoping that we would just film an entire video today. A little bit of Camp Claw antics with some fishing, but we didn't get a chance to fish. So we're just gonna continue the video tomorrow. Day number one up here was not really how I wanted to spend it, but we're getting some stuff done. Tomorrow's gonna be a lot more exciting. We're gonna get after it, we're gonna fish. The boys went and checked out some creeks today too. So I'm I'm thinking, you know, we'll we'll put together a pretty awesome day and a video for y'all at home. What's going on, PP? She did poop under the stairs and uh, I think y'all have to do rock, paper, scissors for who picks it up. Wow. No way, she did poop. Yeah, how twice. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Is that what you guys were laughing about? Yeah. Not cool, not cool, Mildred. Yeah, actually, your name is Mildew. Your name is Mildew because of that. You guys going to bed? Yeah. Wow, this looks really comfortable. <laughs> I'm pooping. I'm pooping. Should I leave the poop there? Yeah, just. Yeah. There's I'll the poop. Kind of, I'll find it in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like in your hoodie. <laughs> Day's over. Let's worry about sleeping, getting rested up, and uh, getting prepped up for tomorrow's video. Anyway, wieners, thank you so much for watching. We'll uh, we'll catch you guys in the morning. Peace. Oh yeah, we're ready. Good morning, wieners, and welcome back to Camp Claw, or I guess this week it'll be Camp Barn. Yesterday, we're just gonna pick up where we left off. We've got a fridge we need to get, and we also, most importantly, need to do some fishing while we're here. It's kind of the whole point of being up at Camp Claw is enjoying the nature and not really going and bouncing from one strip mall to the other. But uh, I think uh, I think we're gonna do is we're gonna take this trailer into town, grab some necessities. We're not gonna film too much of that, so don't worry. But uh, after that, I'm gonna get the boring chores done. We're gonna go maybe dangle. Hopefully the boats are done today. We dropped them off. Um, I'd like to, since this is you know your first time as an intern up in yeah. Camp Claw to do like a 1v1, just so you can prove yourself. That's fair. Do you think you're capable? I'm taking this on? Yeah, I can do that. Well, if we can get the boat today, I think we should do a 1v1. Regardless, we should do some sort of challenge around here in these creeks. What's great about Maine is if you don't have a boat, if you don't have a canoe, there is literally plethoras of creeks and ponds and little streams you can drop into and catch not only smallmouth, but trout and some other really cool fish species. You know, also to that elusive lamprey, which they were chasing after yesterday. Um, that's uh, kind of one of the pinnacle game fish here up in Maine. But I'm gonna make this short and sweet, gonna chug this Celsius, which is much needed after a groggy sleep, and we're gonna get on with our day. Stick with us, stay tuned, and let's have a freaking day. Picking up a fridge for food and bevies. Mostly bevies. Buddy is still trying to figure out how to back up the trailer. <laughs> That should have been on the, the resume. Know how to back up a trailer. I don't think he would have gotten hired if I, I fought him. This is gonna be like. You got closer to the tongue. So it doesn't. We got the fridge, but only had one strap, so it's strapped down by one singular strap. And we've also got Trailer Pro. So I'm hoping it doesn't like absolutely murk any corners because I could see that top heavy thing just going flying. We've already lost two beds. Can't lose a fridge. What the hell is he doing? What is Griffin doing? What are you doing? I'm just making sure it's not running. Make sure it's not what? Running. What do you mean running? You told me to make sure it's not running. <laughs> so it stayed here and not run at all? I sat here all the time. Thank God the refrigerator's not running. <laughs> all right, well, we made it back. We're here, it's raining actually. This is like some of the fishiest weather we can ask for. And I got some good news. I got a call from Harvey's. They said the Lun and the Whaler are done. So we're gonna go pick that up right now. It's like boom, boom, quick move, grab rods. I got a ton of groceries. They actually cut us off at Walmart. We said they, they said that we purchased too many items. Like we had to do two separate trips. Um, but we have a fridge. We got food for the fridge. All that aside, let's get the lawn to do some fishing. Doing a little one v one action here. Yep. We have to uh, fully initiate you. Yeah. And you've never fished this like that. I'm, I'm we're going to. Take it easy, but we'll you're taking it easy. We'll see how the. On who? Is. Who do you think you're one v one? You know you're going against me, man. Dude. On my home lake. You're, you're bunk. On oh. your homeland. This is my, this is my home lake. Oh. No, 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 I didn't say homeland. I said my home lake. It might as well be my homeland too. Here, hang on. I love Maine. What's the, what do you think the consequence should be? I wish you guys would have kept those lampreys. What do we buy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Consequences what? The last dab, Apollo. Do you think it's that hot? This one right here. I'd rather jump in the water, honestly. I'd rather jump in the water. Can you northerners not do hot stuff? I can't. <laughs> All right, what do, we, what do you think? Like, let's, you want to do biggest fish? I don't know if my scale works, so we can do like biggest fish length. 
I think biggest fish, either by length or weight, we'll figure it out when we get there, is gonna win. And the loser, actually there's no win in this challenge, it's just losing. The loser has to take a bite out of a mega hot wing. That was mega, a good idea. Mega hot. Mega hot. Mega hot. I'm gonna rig up some lures, I'm gonna get situated, we'll meet you guys at the lake. What do you think? We're finally fishing, dude. This is incredible. You, the viewers at home are probably like, wow, really? You fish when you come up here to Maine? No, this is great. I, we need some fresh air. I met some local Mainers. Everyone up here is, I would say for the most part, 99% of Mainers, especially in this part, they're buttes, they're gems. This is one of my favorite little smallmouth ditches. We've got some of the fishiest weather, like low pressure, overcast, misting. Oh, my nipples are so hard, I could probably cut a in diamond. Sorry, pardon the language. I'm just really excited. It's the first open water main fishing session of the year. Many more to come, but you ready? 1v1. I'm ready, brother. Griffin, the summer intern versus Sloth Boy himself. Biggest fish wins. Let's run it. All right, I'm starting off a little, little dead. Oh, was that a bite? What was going on there? I felt something suspicious. I think it's just those rocks. It's been a while since I held a spinning rod. Um, starting off with the tried and true, a little deadly nettly in mooncake color, but instead of throwing on the net head, I'm actually drop shotting it. Last time I fished here, this is how we were catching them. Oh, and then there goes Griffin just straight up crossing my line. Did you? Try putting the hooks in the fish's mouth next time. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know I'm not supposed to be helping you, but I figured that'd be a pretty decent tip. Quick tip from John B. Make sure you hook the fish when you get bit. There you go. Oh. What happened, dude? That was at least a three. It was probably seven or eight. Yeah. New lake record. You should have grabbed it, man. Should have grabbed him. <laughs> <laughs> Saw that. Good one. There he goes. Oh, no net. I forgot the net. I bought a brand new net and didn't bring it. <laughs> okay. All right. Easy. But why don't you focus on landing him before you give me this death stare? It's, Ooh, it's a good fish. Good yeah, it's good fish in here, dude. I would, I would it's a good fish. Oh, my gosh. Stud. That is a stud. Nicely done. I got him Wow, famous last words, but he's just over here just jinxing himself. Okay. Need help or you got him. Come here, shit. <laughs> cool. Nice one. The bump board is Eww. right there. Let's get a measurement on her. First main fish, courtesy of Griffin. Yeah. Oh, he's way bigger than that. He's almost 18. Oh, he's 18 inches. We call it 18? I mean, yeah, that's that's good. That's okay. 18 average, inch, 18 right? inch fish, yeah. Wow, nice hold, job. Hold Can I touch it? No. I'll touch one when I catch it. Wait, no, no, put. That's fine. That's a cool release, I guess. Yeah, very cinematic. <laughs> very cinematic. <laughs> All right, well, there's the first one. 18 inches, done and dirty. Congrats, bud. I'm going to say congrats because this is going to be your only bite of the day. I'll let you oh, have okay. that one, okay. but nice job. Oh, my God. Did you see that? That might have been a salmon. I'm throwing that jerk bait. Go ahead. This is a good spot for it. Right on this edge, it drops off. and That's what that balloon's doing. He's eating a bunch of smelt down there. Another one just came up right there. Holy hell. Another one just came up. This whole area, I'm seeing a ton of fish. Okay, I'm just going to... Dude, holy I think I know what I'm gonna do. Pipes. PP brain, uh, you know, the rest is history. There we go. PP brain and Oh, good one. Good fish. Good fish. That's a really cool oh, Nice fish. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, and the yerk bait. I don't know if it's gonna be as big as yours. Dude, you caught him on the parking We were just talking smack about Millie. I feel bad, but we got ourselves a nice small mouth. You wanna see me bow flip it? Bow flip it. I really hope you don't lose it. It's kind of big. <laughs> Might be a little too big for that. There we go. Oh, <laughs> drag's not letting me do it. Come on. Come on, sister. High stick. Oh, there we go. That's definitely bigger than mine. I don't think so. I think it's probably 17. Good fish. Finally caught one. Finally caught one. I was just giving you an opportunity to get a head start, and all right, all right, no, we're here no, now. Right, I believe you. Absolutely crushed the jerk bait. Usually when I come out here, it's a it's a top water deal, which, you know, almost could have happened, but for whatever reason, they weren't eating the blooper for us. And so I decided to throw the little tiny jerk bait, which resembles a smelt, and he was on it. The fish in here, they generally eat like a couple different things. One of which being tiny smelt, which is just like a really slender little bait fish. And the other thing being a crawfish. And then also, as you saw probably earlier, those mayflies, but the mayflies are only like during the month of May, hence the name. There's a nice small one. Feels good to actually hook a bass though. Very proud of myself. Not quite, oh not quite. Just below 18 inch. Yikes. Good smallie though. Put up a good fight, man. I think I hammered it. There we go. Oh wow, that's a nice fish. Oh, my I don't know what that son. is. 
Good fish. Oh, she's tail walking, dude. That's a good smallie. That is a, that is a good smallie, dude. Oh, oh my boy. God. Absolutely, like, just stopped me. I like could not move. Dude, you hit a wall. It felt like I hit a log. See, this is this is kind of what we wanted to come here for. Right. Also, notice how I've got the silent spinning reel right now. I don't know what's going on with my drag, but it's just not moving. It's got muscle. Oh, it's like a tarpon, dude. That's so gnarly. Oh, so much fun. Oh, straight up and down with her like a little grouper. They're basically just, like just grouper, honestly. Dude, that is a hog. That is a hog. I think she's tired out. That was quite the fight. Holy hell. Holy hell. Let's get you in, girlfriend. Oh, I got you. That is a meatball. Oh, Look my. at that, dude. Yeah. I'm going to get her in the boat. <laughs> Good That's grief, unbelievable. Dude. That is a stud. That is a stud and a half. Oh, she's going to be close. Oh, yeah. 19 or 20? 19. Just over 19 inches. That is a brute of a small bass. Number three of the day, actually, officially number three. Freaking beauty. Oh, that's awesome. We're gonna, that one. Yeah, we're gonna snag a quick picture and hopefully catch some more of your brothers and sisters. Thank you, big old Gertha. Grabbing some for the IG and putting them back. Look how clean this water is. Holy hell. Not too many fisheries like this up north or down south in Texas. It's an absolute treat to come down here and catch these amazing fish. That thing gave me hell. Oh my God, I'm on. Big one? Yeah. Oh, go towards him. <laughs> Big one. <laughs> dude, this is nuts. Dude, They're eating the jerk bait. Dude, I paused it and he just annihilated it. All right. Oh, he's walking too. Come on, Smalley. Well, Griffin's hooked up. I'm reviving mine. Come on, sister. You're good. There she goes. She's kicking. She's kicking. There she goes. Oh my gosh. Swim right under the boat. Bigger or smaller than mine? I'm going flipper. Oh, that's a nice one. Wow, this is on the jerk bait, huh? Yeah. Oh, we figured it out. Any followers? No, not that I saw. Good fish. Yeah, that's a decent fish. Legendary stuff. Holy hell. Oh, I don't know if I can flip her. She's barely hooked. Yeah, I wouldn't flip her. Just hey. belly grab her. Here, I got you. Come no, I say, you want to give me the assist? Here? Yeah, I'll tail grab her like a trout. Cool. Yeah. See. She's barely hooked. Yeah, that face region's a no go. There we go. Ten. Nice one. It's not huge. Almost 18. Yeah, 18 three quarters. Nicely done. That's sweet. Oh, there we go. Good one. Yeah. Brick wall, dude. Oh, good fish. <laughs> oh yeah. I have belly. Oh my well. gosh. He just swiped it. Wouldn't you think one. these would be trout though? The way they're coming yeah, up? They're just literally just sipping. You guys probably can't get it. I mean, hopefully the camera's capturing this, but just now these mayflies have come out of the water and hatched. That's a good one. And the smallmouth are eating it on the surface. And the smallmouth are eating the mayflies on the surface as if they were trout. Yeah. It's really hard to tell, but by catching them on jerkbait, we know that they are smallmouth. There's probably some trout mixed in, but how's it feel? What do you mean? Just to catch fish. Uh, just to be out amazing, here in, in mother nature and basically being the only ones in the lake right now, popping smallmouth. Oh, here we go. Kale's back there tossing a yerk bait around. I should grab my rod. He's hooked up. Good one. First smallmouth ever. First smallie ever. How's it feel? It's good. It's great. Feels like a snook. Yeah. <laughs> Just like it. That is a stud. Ooh! Jeez. Oh, smokes. Doubled. Good one, too. Oh, uh, he's not bad. Oh, yeah, he's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Doubles. Just grab him by the belly. There you go. Nice fish. First nice main smallmouth. Smallmouth in general, right? Yeah. Not too many of those down in Florida. Nope. So cool. Oh, I just got lit. Oh. Good one. Good one. Literally first cast with the rattle in the. No way. Good fish. Oh my god! Did Why you are see they all that? Walking, dude. dude, they're just built. Oh, she just came on done. Oh, they're just all built different here, man. They go wild. I just dumped a 45 inch small brook barred small fish jaw.
<laughs> Whew, we made it back to the old bass barn. That was quite a rip. Did you have fun, buddy? Of course. Smash some smallmouth caught Smash. potentially your biggest of the year. Yeah, it you got actually little, was my biggest of the year. You got a little brown thing there too. Yeah, uh, what's her name, Mildew? Pee pee. Yeah, pee pee head. What's up, pee pee head? She's giving you a little kiss, dude. Why are you, why are you dissing her like shout that? Shout out to the folks at home. Shout out, shout out to all the pee pee supporters. <laughs> Drop a like for the pee pee heads out there. But uh, Caleb got his first smallmouth first ever. Time. Unreal. We got a lot of stuff done, but we're not finished. This is the grand finale. Uh, as you guys know, it's a 1v1 situation. And uh, unfortunately, Griffin was an inch shy of sealing the deal. He caught that 18 incher and I was like really nervous. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some of these wings here from the Hot Ones show on YouTube. And uh, Buddy's gonna hit the last dab. 11 out of 10 is the, uh, the heat level. Are you a big spicy guy? Uh, I dabble. I mean, I mean, after this night you would be. Yeah, yeah, I mean like I put salt on my food. And oh, so, like, you season your food with hot water and salt? Yep. Cool. I'll be all right. <laughs> it's the main way. Yep. Nice. Here she is. Yeah. We got three sauces here. This is just regular hot sauce. Medium, mild, and uh, blow your asshole out. <laughs> it's literally the last dab. I think it's like the actual sauce they use on the show. It's pretty insane. I'm not gonna let you do this alone. Okay. I'm really, I feel bad. I don't know how hot, I, I'm kind of skeptical. I feel like it probably is not that hot, but I might have just, I might have just, I might have just uh, signed my own life away. But here's it. the deal: is in the show they only do like a little drop. Are we just gonna douse them? Smell or? it. Dab. That, you gotta do a dab. That shouldn't be illegal. Yeah, it smells pretty spicy. Okay. Okay. You ready? No. <laughs> Not at all. Water. Okay. Dab. Yikes. <laughs> a little bit more than that. I'm doing this with you. Be generous. Okay, fine. fine there fine, you go. Fine. Ready? No. Alright. Tomain, smallmouth, slamming claws, and uh, welcome, buddy. It's good to have you here. Cheers. Oh, you want some? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> Not really hot. <laughs> Holy cow. Alright, well, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Sincerely appreciate the view. We'll catch you on the next one. As always, keep dabbing, never stop. Ooh. That is fun. Subscribe. <sighs> that is pretty fed <laughs> up. <Ooh. sighs> oh, I'm hiccup. Oh, jeez, I might be ass. Yeah. That's not that's not a joke, dude.